Hey guys, Joe Stumbleobiles here. Hopefully you can see me. Um, working on this door of an ML320 passenger side. I have a bad window regulator. Um, I've done some videos in the past where I've just talked about this, but I'm finally going to do it on video for you guys. Hopefully it'll make sense. Anyways, the door panel, there's a screw there, the screw there. Pop off all the little clips. Pop, lift it up and off it. Disconnect your door lock and your light if you have one. And then you're into the window. Just peel off this black plastic. It's just stuck on there with some glue. All right, let me turn the key and I'll show you what's happening. All right, so if I push the down button, you'll see that this moves, but the window is not, I'm gonna put my finger on the window, window's not moving. Regulator's going up, regulator's going down, but nothing's happening. So we're gonna leave it in the up position. First, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna drill out all of the rivets that we have here. Because I have the new regulator, ordered it online. I'll put the link in the description below. A pretty simple, it's just gonna go in here. There's a couple rivets where this rivet's here and here, and you can see that, boom, boom. Okay, this is gonna go in your track, which you'll see later. This just lines up right like that. Rivet there, rivet there, rivet there, rivet there, and then your motor is gonna screw onto it, okay? Uh, and then this is this other part is going to slide in the track. So it's really simple, not complicated at all. Don't be scared to do it. Let's unplug the motor. There's a plug right here. You just push that little lever. Use something small to push the little gray or whatever color tab you have in. Unplug that there. Uh, I forgot. I've got to take out the screws for the motor first. Um, that'll make it easier to get the regulate regulator out. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I've got um, a T30 star drive. So we're just gonna remove this screw. Sometimes you can get them out all the way, like that, like that. Don't mind my dog, she's just chasing a chipmunk. There we go. So we got all three of those. We'll set them right inside the car door. And I think that's everything holding the motor. There's your motor. Boom. Going to take that off. We'll put that back on though. Now we're going to drill out the rivets. We've got a couple different drill bits here. You don't want to go too big because you don't want to, you know, drill out the hole too big so you can't put a new rivet in there. We'll try this one first. Sometimes they like to spin, so it's a little tricky, but we'll get it. Uh, this drill bit is a size, it probably is too big. I don't see a size on it, but I'll let you guys decide on your own which one you want. Maybe I'll try to find the size of this later, but it's probably just a hair bit too big, but it works. Two more, one here and one there. All right, so I think we got that one. We got all of them. It's a little greasy, so you're gonna get your hands a little dirty doing this. Don't be surprised. Alright, get these metal shavings in your hands. Um, this, we might have to tap up with something. Too lazy to go get a hammer. There we go. So all I was doing was popping this piece out of here. And then we have... Now the window's going to slide down on you. Don't be surprised, okay? Um, this is where you kind of just got to maneuver this sucker and get it down. And we may have to play around with this a little bit to get it just right. All right, I see it coming down now. 
So here's the window. You might have to move some of that plastic over. Okay, so the window's almost down. Um, the other thing we gotta take off is this one here. I think I have the right size. Where's it, this one? Also a T30. So let's just take that out. Boom. Take that screw out. And they're pretty good. There we go. Don't lose that screw. You'll need that. You might need that. I don't uh, if the new one doesn't have it. I like to save these pieces just in case. All right. And then that's going to slide out. Um, sometimes it's easier if you push the window up and then slide it out. All right. So that's it. There's the old one. I think the something with the welds here right here yeah you can see the welds broke off of here it's supposed to be welded on something like that and it's not even welded very well to be honest it's not very good quality so let's put the let's put the new one back in so here we go here's the new one um you do have to watch this front corner here of the window up in here then just make sure it goes back in the track so when you lift it back up you can look in the side of the, the door and make sure that it's in the track, okay? So we'll just pull that down so you guys could see that. All right, so again, this is gonna go in like this. So this is gonna end up over there. But what we have to do is we've gotta get um, this part, we have to slide this end in here. This is the part where I'm not gonna tell you that there's a wrong way or a right way because I don't think there is what we're gonna try to do here if I can slide let's see and you just gotta whoops I want to break that part I will not edit this part out so you can see my my struggles but um, sometimes you just have to just just change it around until you can get that angle in there and then let's see if that'll work now you don't want to put too much pressure on any of these parts and snap them off. I might just stick this back inside the door and see if we can get a better angle on it this way. You might even have to push it up. Look in through one of the holes here. Like I said, there's really not, I mean, if there is a right way to do it, um, I'd be surprised, but I'm just going to go with the Joe Snowmobiles way of doing it. So, I'm sliding that plastic piece in. I'm just looking through the hole here, sliding that through, right? So, I'm going to slide it through this direction. I might have to lift the window up a little bit more. Easy to get in there with your hands. And I have big hands, so don't be afraid. Um, okay, so we got it in. So I slid it in there. Here's the, here it is. Okay. Um, we have to move this over to here because these are going to line up in there. This still has to come up over here. So I think we're good. We can start bringing this down. And oh, my wife is here. So we can bring this down, rotate this part. That's gonna go up, up in here. I think we can get this part. I think we can get this part screwed in. Whoops! Now they gave me a Phillips head there, so I'm gonna have to go get a screwdriver for that because it's not a T30 on the replacement I got, guys. Hang on just a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I got that Phillips because this is a Phillips head here, and hopefully I can unscrew it. Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's in there tight. We have to go get my. I gotta get a bigger screwdriver. Stand by. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I got my screwdriver. There we go. All right, so we got that out, and we just have to put this back in like this. Line it up. Now I'm, I'm only gonna tie, I'm not gonna totally tighten this one down because 
<laughs> I need to put it back in or uh, readjust it <clears throat> in a minute. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna now that we got that in that track, okay. Make sure you're still in the track over here. You are. We are. Okay. Now we're gonna bring up a window motor section here and I'm gonna line up these parts with this okay it's pretty simple to do usually if I can find the spot there we go okay there you go There's one Whoop. so this and <coughs> just gotta push this in <laughs> pull it down probably should have brought a bigger screwdriver to pry that over but actually it doesn't even need see we have our, our holes are lined up already there um, now I just need to line up this this is this is this moves okay so don't be afraid to make adjustments there and let's see we've got Where's our holes at? I might have to spin this around this way. Let's see. Hopefully this is the right one. Huh. I think it is. There's one hole, I think, coming into view. And... Ha, there's the other hole. So, all right. Got the holes lined up. All the holes are lined up. Bing, bing, bing. So now, what we got to do? Hopefully, you could. Hopefully, my head wasn't in there the entire time. You got to take some rivets, and those are too big. I think these are the ones I use. They're three sixteenths by quarter inch. The part number is two three one eight one one four. So, if you could see that or not. So I'm gonna take one, one's gonna go right there. You're gonna rivet it in, super easy. You can buy one of these riveting tools at the store for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. All right, there's one. Hopefully I have enough of these size. I've done a couple of these door repair jobs recently and I'm using up all my rivets. So put that in there. Same thing, rivet it down. There you go. Put in a, I think I have enough. I've got four left here, so one's gonna go in here in that hole. Just get those lined up. There's another one. And hopefully you guys are seeing how easy this is. This is probably one of the easier doors to do on a car. Honestly, there's so much room. And um, super easy. If I had all the tools sitting here, I'd probably have it done in 10, 15 minutes, something like that. So now we have the motor right here, and there's three holes, right? So you just it just lines up like that on the inside. So just line it up like that. Grab your three bolts. You line it up. Look through. You may have to get a flashlight. It's getting kind of dark here for me as well. I'm gonna try to line it up without a flashlight, but I might have to go get a flashlight. But usually if you can line up like the first hole, which I think I do have lined up here, then the rest will go real easy. See, I've got the other holes lined up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just build other screws in. See, it drew the, the motor right in. Last one. Might have to push that back in in here a little bit. Oh. Might be a little bit off on that one. I'm just gonna loosen these other two. Just make sure I'm. Oh. get moved a little bit there gives us 
us a little, a little wiggle room here with the top. There it goes. So, you know, maybe don't snug all three down super as you go. Just do snug them a little bit and then come back and adjust them. Okay, now that we have that all set up, what we're going to do is we got to lower lower the window actually you know I'm, I'm gonna do this with the electric but I'm gonna be careful and do it slowly because I want to adjust that one uh, spot that we did tighten but we didn't finish tightening. so I'm just gonna hit the button here for a second and watch the window oh. I might not be Totally lined up with the gears here, to be honest, guys. Feeling a little goofy there. Just gonna loosen these. Run the motor for a second. See what happens. There we go, okay, so. Sometimes you gotta just um, play around with the motor so that the gears catch properly on the, uh, and you could feel it, you could you saw that the, mo the window started to move. Let's try it again here. Oop. So there we go, let's go going. Going down is what we want to go down, just a little bit. And we're gonna hold it right there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got, the window looks like it's all straight. It's, it's all the way back into this corner up here. And so all we gotta do is tighten up this bracket. That's it. So that's nice and tight there. All right, so now should be able to go up and down with the window. There it is going up. Nice and going down. So again, we just tight, we just left that a little loose. So as we played it up and down, it stayed. It, as soon as we got it where it was in place, everything was in place. Then you know it's in the right spot. And you can tighten it down. That's a tricky one. Like I said, you just got to do it when it's a little farther up. Sometimes you can do it when it's down here, and then just swap everything around. But whatever is easier for you. And then just make sure there's enough grease and stuff in there. I see there's a lot of grease still in there and on this slide. And there you have it. That's it. Then you put your plastic back on. Pretty simple, right? Um, just don't bury that. Kind of stick it back on best you can. Some of these, some of these ML doors have like a foam, which is interesting. Um, I think we've got everything. I think there's a light. Oh no, and this one doesn't have a light. That's right. No light on that one. Uh, I think we're in good shape here. So now I'm just going to put the panel on and we're done. I'm going to get a couple more clips. I think I'm missing one down here and a couple over here. So I want to be able to replace those and do it right. So we get those put on and we'll put the door back on. All right, guys, lastly, we'll put the door panel back on. And I thought, oh yeah, here it is. It does have a plug for the light switch, or the light on the bottom, so I'm gonna plug that in. There we go, lights on. And then um, you have to hook up this part to the door handle, which I can't really show you because it's behind the door, but it's not hard, you guys can figure that out. I'll leave you something to figure out, how about that? Then just slide it over the lock, line up your little handle the edge of the um the door frame right into that little slot right there just like that and then just go down the go down the side I try to line all of them up first best I can before I shove them all in the holes because if you do that you'll usually if you don't line get them all in their holes first before you put them in they tend to pop out or break. One more down 
here. And then I think that's it. We got it. And then you just gotta put your screws back in. There's two screws here. One here. Okay. Lastly, well, second to last, reinstall your, your piece here. Oh, actually it kind of goes in that hook. I forgot, it kind of hooks down in here. Let's see if I tilt you guys up a little bit. Goes in that little hook spot, and then pop that piece in. And then, this piece should just go in here, like this. Snaps into place. Bada bing, bada boom. Window, double check. Yeah. Looking good, up and down. There you go, guys. Lock check. All right, so guys, thanks for watching Joe Snowmobiles. Um, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me, mosquito. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great summer. <coughs> the mosquitoes are choking you like they're choking me. Uh, I'm going to try to keep posting a lot of videos this summer. Winter's hard here in Chicago. It's cold. But uh, appreciate everybody that watches. Pre just appreciate all the comments. I try to respond to as many as I can. I'm not a genius. I wish I was. Um, but that's above my pay grade. So I will try to answer as many as I possibly can. If I don't answer you, I probably don't know the answer. But I'll try to let you know one way or the other. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.